Hi there Aries, this is your love reading for September 2021. Let's have a look and see what we have got going on. So just wanted to mention before I do start that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information is also down below as well. They're done within 12 to 24 hours with me of course and they are same day readings as I offer personal readings. It's also available on my website as well and all the links are down below. Also, um, I just wanted to say that on my website there are intention manifesting items which thousands of people have seen results with. The entire review section is at the bottom of my website. Um, you can check that out and see how people have seen results with different products. Um, but there's intention manifesting items such as handmade bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards which you can put under your pillow, your wallet or your purse. Um, pouches with like spices and herbs which you can keep around you because um, not everybody wants to wear jewellery and things like that um, and then there's also sage and crystals and uh, yeah for specific areas of your life as well so there's thousands of items on there they're really special a lot of them are so unique that you wouldn't really find those kinds of things anywhere else so do check it out if you're interested okay so Aries let's have a look Ooh. Oh, hello, speak up. That's an interesting thing. Interesting message, sorry. <laughs> okay, right. We're going to look into um, tarot as well, so I'm really excited about the cards that we have. Okay, something's going to happen in this month because we have within within one month, so there is this energy here um, of September really sort of uh, bringing you something quite strong. All right, so we also have this card. So first and foremost, we have this card, which is Daddy Issues. Now this is interesting because it means a whole host of things and it's gonna be different for each and every one of you. For some of you, this could be to do with a father figure. Um, it could be do, to do with your father or somebody else's father. It could be that the other person is a father because it's another energy that I'm picking up on or it could be your relationship with your father that sometimes sort of gets in the way of um, relationships and things like that. So it's just something to keep in mind. It's gonna resonate with people on different levels, I would say. Um, the, the first card that we saw is speak up. So there's obviously gonna be some kind of communication that is gonna happen between you and someone else. And that's gonna happen within this month itself because we have here within one month, all right? So in September, we do have perhaps some like father figure issues, um, if this person, for example, is a father themselves, then, you know, that kind of shows they may have certain issues um, in regards to that. Like if they have, you know, their own children, um, you know, there could be something going on in regards to that. So again, just something to keep in mind. Um, but we do have this speaking up energy, which I think is actually very, very fascinating indeed. So they may come towards you and say something. It could also be that they have issues with their own father. You know, there's just this father figure energy um, that is coming through quite significantly. Um, in many ways so yeah it can be that you get an unexpected um, call you get um, yeah something unexpected basically in terms of that so that could be quite fascinating in many ways very very interesting so uh, yeah just something to for sure keep in mind all right so let's have a look with tarot and see what's coming through here Yeah, there's definitely communication. I mean, look, you've got the Queen of Swords, right? Queen of Swords is about communication, honesty, truth, uh, loyalty, uh, very like trust, like, very trustworthy energy. You know, Queen of Swords in tarot is the one of the only figures that has like prayer beads wrapped around her wrist. A lot of people feel like the Queen of Swords is cool and calculated. I mean, yes, not everybody that wears prayer beads is is you know, going to be like the most amazing person ever. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it doesn't necessarily mean so much in the grand scheme of things that, oh, she has prayer beads wrapped around her wrist, but she definitely has her own faith. Like, she knows what she wants, you know, things like that. Um, but I wouldn't say she's like the coldest person on the planet um, in tarot. Okay, so that's one thing to definitely keep in mind as well is that, you know, she knows what she wants. And I think that ultimately here, you know what you want, okay? Whether you're male or female, you know what you want. You know how you want your life to be in fact the card that it came out with is the seven of cups where you know what you want in regards to your future you know how you want your future to be um you know the direction that you want it to also go in as i'm literally breaking my entire background down <laughs> um yeah so anyways the the queen of 
um, swords really has that like really distinct energy um, which is basically you know to to do with that so I think that's obviously very significant here um, in many many ways I just feel like they can't hold their feelings back um, yeah see ace of wands are being really really triggered to come towards you they can't hold back their feelings I mean sure they're having a few troubles here and there and a few issues but they're thinking about you a lot and I think actually they're realizing like wow you've never give up given up on me you've always been there towards me you've always been so progressive so kind so caring you know I can't like run away from that so yeah the two of pentacles here really shows that you know what you want right and you're kind of thinking to yourself like well they better make their mind up because I'm not going to be here forever waiting for them and thinking about them now I never personally recommend waiting I always recommend you know doing you taking care of yourself which I assume a lot of you are doing anyways right you're focusing on you but the two of pentacles shows that someone's weighing up their options here knight of swords shows they're absolutely going to speak up you will get um, a phone call or a text message from them for sure within one month. So that is something I do see specifically within September, I feel. And then we've got the death card as well. So something's obviously happened here between the two of you. Um, it can be that you're not in contact with this person or that they're extremely hot and cold and not very progressive towards you. But I definitely do see here that they want to be more progressive. They want to say something, do something um, and be proactive in that sense. So I would say let them be, honestly, like let them come towards you. Let them be proactive. Let them be progressive. They, they have to prove themselves. You know, I think that's very, very important. You've got the... Emperor, which is Aries energy, powerful, because this shows them taking action, okay, and um, yeah, I think that they do have a lot of, like, physical feelings towards you, so, like, sexual feelings, sexual feelings, <laughs> sorry, I, like, whispered that so much to the point where, um, and sensual feelings as well, remember that Venus enters Virgo on the 10th of September, so that's, you know, kind of placing those physical feelings in there, so we've got Scorpio energy there as well, so it makes a lot of sense in the grand scheme of things. Then you have here the moon, right? So a lot of their feelings right now are hidden, but it will come to light in September as well. Um, and they'll really weigh things up and uh, come forward. We also have temperance as well, they're really weighing things up, water flowing from one cup to another. You know, they just can't hold back their feelings. I think they're thinking, like, oh, I'll just hold back, like it's cool, I'll keep it below the surface, but actually, the trigger is coming forward, right? These are the triggering energies with those fire energies. They know your worth, they know your value, they will come forward um, and they will speak up, right? I'm not holding it inside. Three of cups, there you go. That's the speaking up energy, social energy, very powerful social energy. And then we have got here, sorry, I'm gonna like drop everything on the side here. <laughs> um, the magician, which is Mercury, there you go. Okay, Mercury is all about communication and knowledge and advice so there you go they're going to come forward and contact you I just feel like the feelings they have towards you are of course like physical feelings like we spoke about but also just how knowledgeable and kind and caring and how much of a backbone you have you know what you want in life and clearly you're not going to settle for less and I think that that's something that just makes them realize like wow you're not like anyone else they've come across a lot of people they've come across just don't have much self-respect I feel and that's something they're just getting very like annoyed by um interestingly enough and obviously you know maybe they ran away from you because you had a lot of self-respect Respect, but um, now they recognize the value of it so that's interesting isn't it and then you've got the page of wands which shows the trigger to really come forward to want to then contact you and come forward so they just know what they want to say they know what they want to do they know how they want to like progress towards you etc so it's just something that they are not like running away from so much so yeah that is for sure a very powerful energy and a very progressive energy and it's pretty strong in itself so that is literally what we do have right there Aries very powerful very strong and uh, very very significant you know very very significant indeed so that is literally what we do have right there so I really do hope you know that this helped you and sort of gave you a ton of clarity um of course you know if this resonated with you let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already check out the description box below for information on private paid readings reading giveaway intention items which are on my website and also I do also have like my tiktok and my instagram where I post short readings every single day as well so there's short there's videos on YouTube every day but there's also different 
different to what's on YouTube, different videos on TikTok and Instagram, so do check those out if you're interested, and take care everyone, bye!